Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Sparrow 2 Ripto's Rage. In the last episode, we uh, finished up... Uh, what was it? Summer Forest. There we go. Had to remember the name. We finished up Summer Forest completing uh, any of the extra orbs and gems we needed to collect after we got the climbing ability. And in this episode, we are in Autumn Plains. And uh, in the previous episode, we collected some of the gems. We did not collect all of them, I don't think. Let me check real quick in my guidebook. My handy dandy guidebook. Oh, never mind, we collected quite a bit. Uh, we got both. Yeah, so we need. Um, that probably wasn't this. Blowing on is not very good for the mic. We need about 17 gems, and we have pretty much. much about it. We have both of the orbs. So mm. we can now leave. Okay, so now we have 17 gems, and. That's about it. So I guess, uh, you know what, instead of collecting those 17 gems, we'll find them when we do. Uh, let's start off by going through one of the worlds. Uh, we're going to do Breeze Harbor, just because I don't like some of the challenges in this level. So we're going to take it out first. Hopefully you guys like the, uh, no, is this the funny intro scene? What a mean bunch of blobs. Alright, so, as soon as we start off, we got gems. And we also have that flag, which is right in front of the dude. So I'm not going to grab that yet. Except I'm going to hit by one. And I'll knock that guy off the edge. And knock this guy off the edge. I did that on purpose because in order to progress in this level, of course you have to uh, do it the pel... Is that, are those pelicans? Yeah, they are. Uh, you have to light the fires like the pelican was trying to do but it kept on getting spit out by water so light it up it powers a steam generator you see steam shoot out of it and then add that will activate a whirlwind but first we're gonna go talk to this guy and blow out the flag please excuse our mess spyro we are currently suffering from a land blubber infestation first they put out the fires on our boilers and now they've shut down our ship too If you could stoke up the fires under the boilers, I'm sure you could make your way to the ship. The steam from the boilers will activate our highly advanced machines. So apparently these guys are highly advanced. Well, I guess technically they are since they use steam and everyone else uses so really nothing. In the, in the means of, uh, what do you want to call it? Do we gotta do exactly what he says. We gotta take out the uh, land blubbers. Which sounds like land blubbers. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Pirates. Not really, but kind of is. So, as you can see, there's two kinds of land blubbers. They are the little tiny dudes that will spit out your fires. And there's those big fat guys, which I just took out with a skillful shot from this cannon. Um, who have hoses and they shoot water at you. But, um, after you s as you saw, there's a chest up there. Uh, you can only... No, yeah, you can only... No, never mind, you can't. Um, you can take it down using this cannon, but uh, as you can see, this trap with all these shiny coins. Uh, if you position it right, I think you can shoot it. Uh, you'll r you ride like a cannon trolley cart. Um, and you can shoot a cannonball, and I think you can hit that, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, in the meantime, we have this, uh, yeah, actually I'm gonna get off. We have this weird ball looking dude with a weird creepy smile. But if you do get, if you get close to this guy, he pops out his spikes. And he is, of course, impervious to fire. So what you gotta do, come on, what you gotta do is you gotta shoot him. And we have eight of them. As you can see, there are more of them jumping up there. 
to just hop every once in a while. But that's what we're gonna get to a little bit later in the level. Actually, never mind, there's another guy right here. I'm gonna hop on this thing and see if I can shoot it over. Hey, okay, sweet, got him. Look at that. Two skillful shots in a row. One with that treasure chest, which I always seem to miss on the first shot. And then getting the spike ball dude. Uh, what are they again? Uh, it's right on the tip. I think they're landmines, but they have weird faces for some reason. Which I find very creepy. Uh, more gems. There's a glitch you can do here, I think. Um, you can like swim in the air using this uh, pool of water. I'm not exactly sure how you do it. And I've never actually performed any of the glitches in this game. <laughs> Like swimming in water and stuff like that, but there are glitches that you can do, such as swimming in water, where you can pretty much access any part of the level you want um, by being by glitching through water and being locked into the animation of swimming. And you're not actually in the water; you're above it. So then you can just swim out into the open air and you can do whatever you want. All right, this pelican will give us a challenge. Of course, uh, dealing with those landmines. Those land blubbers have littered these metal spike mines all over the harbor. If you can clear them out, I'll give you this orb I found in a clam yesterday. Okay, cool. So we have to shoot down the floating mines. Difficulty is four. Um, no, it's not. It's not very difficult at all. Uh, once you get one of the... Pretty much once you get the angle right, which is... Right there, you spam your shot. doing well. I'm doing well today. I'm not going to jinx myself, but I'm doing pretty decent. I'm getting all these chests in one hit, taking out all the bad guys, although I did get hit before by one of those water dudes, but what are you going to do? And by activating that fireplace, we uh, turned a, a giant windmill, I guess, which starts pushing the chests around. To find more enemies and collect more guns. Oh, here we go. This is the other half of the challenge. Since we had four of them, we can now do it. Ooh, actually, I have a few topics. Um, today is the 13th, so three days ago. Which was very, very ironically, my birthday as well. Because, uh, I, bought, I bought it for myself as a birthday gift. Which sounds very, very weird, but, uh, what are you gonna do? It was worth Thanks, it. Thanks, Spyro. Here's that orb I promised. Sorry if it still has clam juice on it. Four hundred gems, and we need two orbs. Both of them, we've gotten one. The other one is, it's simple if you, or it's easy if you know what you're doing. Which I hopefully I can get through it in one shot. Uh, sorry for the yawn there. Hopefully I can get through it in one shot. Should be easy. I'm 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 feeling feeling pretty confident. So, uh, let us uh, the guys with the challenge here and our other half was across this gap. But yeah, Fallout 4 came out on November 10th and, uh, I've been playing it quite a bit. I have, so far I think I have 
at least 20 hours logged in the game. And it's been out for three days. Um, what else can I say about it? Uh, it's extremely fun. I totally recommend you go grab it if you like uh, RPGs or games from the Bad Bethesda or um, I guess you could say shooters as well, but it's more of a it is more of a shooter. It's really RPG, but, um, the shooting seems more of just like it's made for the game, but it's not even a shooter. It seems like that's how it's supposed to be. So yeah, I totally recommend you guys have a uh, pick it up because it is an extremely fun game. Alright, so we activated that fire. Of course, you get shot over. Uh, I was checking my head. I think we need to Gate. I guess I was gonna say, I was gonna see if I can remember if we've seen these before, but we have. We did see them in. What is the, what is the, one? the one with the monks to go. Those guys. Uh, so, all we have to do is just jump up here, more gems, of course. And let uh, can fall off, and then we need to come back. All right, so this guy's kind of a. How dude, lucky so. for me that you came along! My machinery is broken, and the gears I need to repair it are scattered all over the tracks. Could you hop on that trolley up there and get them? All right, so. He's talking about he needs to repair a machine and all the gears are on the track, so we're supposed to go get them. We're supposed to collect 50 gears with the trolley. Difficulty is 5 stars. Uh, that one I can kind of believe, especially if you're a little new to this game. Uh, it will be a little difficult. But, hopefully I can do an okay job. Uh, controls right away are X's to jump, left or right on the analog stick, or... Uh, directional pad, whether you're playing on PlayStation 1 or PlayStation 2 or 3. Hold on. Oh, another bit of a yawn there. It is now, uh, just because, you know, if anyone really cares, it is now 8.53 in the morning. Started this recording, well, I guess about 13 minutes ago. But yeah, I just got, just got off work, decided I want, I needed to record a video, I need to be uh, a little bit more consistent with my video uploads, because I upload them like, uh, one or two every day, every week or so, which I need to get a little bit more consistent and start uploading them like, every other day, I need to get sort of a game plan going, but, a little off topic, left or right on the d-pad or analog stick is going to use access to jump, circle is to fire cannonballs, as you can see there is a so all you have to do is hop up here and you'll immediately jump on. Immediately all you have to do is hit circle and you can go up that so chest. I'm not sure if they have special moves, but start trying to stop like that. If you run into that, you immediately stop and you can go forward. You have to shoot. So, you have to shoot the side, you switch it. Okay, 
Nope. That was close. 31 out of 50. Not bad for not. Trouble with the game. trolley, like, eh? Well, trouble with the trolley. Oh, dang it! I should have. I should not have skipped that. He has a really stupid voice when he says "trouble with the trolley," eh? Just use the D-pad or analog stick to change the range. X button to jump and circle to fire the cannon. Mm. Yes, I know how to play. Come on, man. Okay, let's see if we can uh, do some a little bit better. The beginning one, so this circle, and then this circle. Once we get These ones are, of course, they're mandatory. But it's super easy. When I was younger, I remember I would always hit that first box because I could not switch, uh, not switch properly. So I would always end up switching a little too early, and I would end up. Uh, That's how you. Work. That's how you do that trolley. Now I can start fixing my machine. When I was younger, it used to take me try after try to beat that, anymore. and it was cra Oh man, I got so angry at it. All right, that was great work, Spyro. Now you can start fixing. I can start fixing my machine. Here, I don't have room in my toolbox for this thing. Okay, you know Ripto is taking over your lands, and you decide to hide it in your toolbox. Why? I don't get it. I don't get why these people are. Keeping these orbs from us. But anyway, now that we've gotten that, uh, actually we can go back to the beginning of the As I'm not sure if you, uh, any of you guys saw it, but we put a few of those mines on. Just uh, before the ship went up, there was a little spark. And then there's a little spark. Oh, yeah, so you go in the wing. And now we can talk Thanks to him. for getting our ship fired up, Spyro. Now we can proceed with our counterattack on Zephyr. Please take this talisman as a token of our gratitude. <laughs> okay. All right, so we've completed Breeze Harbor. 
and uh, actually, uh, I'm probably gonna end the video off after. The no, I don't. Let's go through. Let's watch the ending cutscene real quick. <laughs> Such a weird bunch of people shooting those guys off with their own friends. But anyway, we've now finished Breeze Harbor. Bam, land with victory as we've completed that level 100%. And in the next episode, we will take on actually one of my favorite levels, Skellos Badlands. This is actually one of the coolest levels. Um, yeah, we're going to take that on in the next episode. Uh, and if you guys noticed anything different about uh, my microphone, if it seems less uh, echoey or there's less fuzz or static in the background, it's because I actually got a new headset. I actually got it for my birthday from uh, a family member. So uh, hopefully uh, I'm going to have to test it out. And if it, it seems to work a little bit better, it's a little closer to my voice. So you hear my voice a little bit better. And it's there's less static and less uh, echo around it. Because my other microphone, if you if you wanted to know is a blue yeti which is a very very high it's a very very nice microphone but it's uh, it picks up a lot of sound it's mainly i think it might be used for more of a soundproof room which, which of course my room is not but uh it works a little bit better uh my headset works just it seems to work just a little bit better than my yeti for recording my voice just by itself so uh, if you guys like it then Hey, that's great. Uh, my voice quality will be a little bit better then. If not, I can always uh, I'll I'll test it just you know see if it if it is actually better or not. If it's not, then I'll switch back. But I might continue using this headset for this foreseeable future. Uh, and yeah, that's about all I got. To, uh, got all I got to say. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all that kind of stuff. And I will see you guys in the next episode.